Welcome back. A mobile born rapper who's been in and out of trouble all over the past several years now in federal custody on a gun charge. Nashawn Jones, who performs under the name Honeycomb Brazy, is one of three people arrested during a traffic stop earlier this month. Fox News' Brendan Kirby is live at the Breaking News Center with more on this. Brendan, all of this starting at the WK Wilson Bridge on Interstate 65. Yeah, that's right, Lee. It was December 18th. The Mobile County Sheriff's deputy noticed that the sport utility vehicle had tinted windows had pulled it over at exit 22 on I-65 in Crayola. Court records filed last week indicate that law enforcement officers found guns and drugs. An affidavit filed by an FBI task force officer says a sheriff's deputy noticed a 2022 Cadillac Escalade was in the passing lane for too long on Interstate 65 and had tinted windows. windows. The driver was listed as 31-year-old Mobile resident Mason Fuller. Court documents say he was wearing a soft body armor labeled enforcement and had a bulletproof vest inside the vehicle. The passengers were identified as Nashawn Jones, who is known by Honeycomb Brazy, and a 39-year-old Houston man named Miguel Hall. According to the affidavit, deputies found a Gerson 9mm pistol near where Fuller was sitting and a Smith & Wesson AR pistol under the third row seat near where Jones and Hall were sitting. All three were prohibited by law from having guns, Fuller because of a protection from abuse order signed by a judge in Georgia, and the other two because of prior felony convictions. The affidavit also alleges that deputies found a partially smoked marijuana cigarette in the ashtray and a liquid medicine bottle that investigators believe may have been a syrupy narcotic drink known as lean. Hey, Jones and his co-defendants in the latest gun case, meanwhile, will appear in U.S. District Court. A date hasn't yet been set. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And when it comes to Honeycomb Brazy and these new federal charges that he was taking into custody on and facing, whether it's going to be guns or drugs, because it's still a gray area and it's murky about how the DNA supposed to be with the gun in the write-up I read, where well, they going to do some testing on that. And they say they think it's lean. That mean they ain't did the test on that yet either. But they charged everybody in the car with the guns. And this had already hit the news in the media probably like a week and some change ago. But it actually broke in full detail everywhere yesterday. And when you look at how everything on how it played out, dog really got dealt a very bad hand on some humbug stuff. Because when you see the reports, it comes off as all, da -da -da -da, it's all this and that. But his brother, as what they are saying, and went to Instagram and said, boy, this is brazy. How the F they doing my brother? At I Hustle No Luck brought these fake security guard niggas around him from Texas, and we thinking these mother effers legit. How the F these niggas fellas too? Got us thinking y'all hire real security. Then niggas pleaded not guilty, and it's like they trying to set him up. But the guns in one of them niggas' name and the other nigga BM name. So how the F y'all pleaded not guilty? Then on top of that, they moved my brother to another prison and keep you niggas down in the city back there talking to the police for three to four hours. Then when, Bra when Brazy tried to see what up niggas talking about, they can't talk to him. The L type of time you H niggas on. My mother effing brother got out doing the right itch. Giving back to the community, squashing beef in the city, moving right with some fake security that he thought was legit. And he got caught up like this on some BS because niggas ain't hire real security. Boy, all you niggas real H's. So I hustle no luck who got tagged in that, who to my understanding is part of Brazy's team and management and everything like that said, I usually don't do this internet ish. But I'm going to address this one one time. I took all proper precaution when hiring the security guard. I did a proper background check. He had no background and had all the proper security credentials during his time working. He got a restraining order put on him in his personal life and didn't disclose this to anyone. What he did in his personal life, it was kept confidential and me or any of the team was informed he was prohibited. Now, Brazy 
uh, got a message out there through his other Instagram page that I believe in God so much, I will be home someday soon. Comment, hashtag free brazy, hashtag R-N-F-O-L, follow at Honeycomb Brazy, the link in the bio. And he's communicating with his people, I'm pretty sure from behind the wall, getting this out through them to put on social media and everything like that, and they explaining what's going down. And this is crazy, bro, because even his team said, we didn't know what the security guard had going on, meaning anything in that car should have been his when it comes to them guns, meaning what did they arrest the Honeycomb Brazy for? They didn't even say that the weed is his. They didn't even say that the drink is his, supposedly, of what they think is drink. This is really a real, real rough shake right here, dog. To hear that and see that, hold on, bro. We really thought that dog had some security that was legit, moving around the correct way as we preach in this game security, and it still came out to be bad because the security guard didn't tell them something. Some fishy going on out here with them laws in uh, Alabama. And I'll say this. I ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer or the smartest nigga in the world. And I ain't the coldest at doing math. But one thing I know, when I can look at a situation and know there's some inner working parts going on from these mobile police being on that vehicle, watching that particular vehicle, because a new Escalade with tents, and we pretty sure, because they know they've said it themselves, they understand why Brazy has to move a certain way out there because to my understanding, they didn't allow him to lose, lose Alabama. They go back to that rap track talk that A.O. Kaseko used to talk about where his past is in the present day and it's hindering him because of the rap game and everything like that and keeping him going inside of this system. That's why we got to do our best to try to stay out the system because this right here wasn't supposed to go down like that. But when you get a bad case, a bad hand at times, they ain't trying to hear. They like, nigga, we trying to put him in the feds now. The feds is involved. They watching. They took him into custody, bro. And we know that the Alabama police is looking at that car and on that car, watching that car, looking to arrest him. That's not doing cop work because they not committing crimes on nobody. I don't care what the law book is. We not executing a crime as in let's get out here and do this and do that to get ahead. We just trying to move around. Yes, if you arrest me, it can be against the law if you find this, but you're going searching for these things, looking for a little slip up. That's a whole different understanding as a nigga just out here tripping, doing dumb stuff. So you gotta know how to separate the two. Multiple things can be right at one time. More than one thing, yes. If the weed is illegal, the guns is illegal, that can be correct. But were y'all searching and trying to catch me slipping as opposed to me just messing up? That's a whole nother conversation. But we'll see how everything play out. Tell me what y'all think. Man, that's a bad hand right there, bro. I can't even lie. More coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.